As the distributor is rotated and the rotor goes around, it delivers high voltage to each one of these spark plugs. That in turn goes off to the spark plug to jump that gap and the high voltage is able to jump that gap, creating the spark needed to burn the air fuel mixture. Believe it or not, it doesn't go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Most six cylinders, for instance, will be 1, 5, 3, 6, 2, 4. So as we rotate this distributor around, we would expect the spark plugs to fire in that particular order. If the firing order is incorrectly set, in other words, the plug leads are in the wrong spot, you'll end up with misfiring in your engine and it won't start or it will backfire and carry on, cough and fart all over the place. So having the correct firing order is super important. Just look up your manufacturer's details and they'll give you the correct firing order. So other things that you might need to check in a uh, plug lead style system with the distributor cap etc is the resistance of the plug leads themselves. Now rule of thumb is 8 to 12 kilo ohms per foot or say 300 mil. And that fellas, yeah, a little bit less than that I suppose. So if we just check the resistance in there we can see it's 3.74 kilo ohms and it's quite a short little fella. So that's acceptable. But that doesn't mean that it won't break down under load. When you accelerate hard and the mixture might be a bit lean, it might tend to break down. The only real way to check that is by means of an oscilloscope. 